What's up YouTube, Dazwa Beats back with another video. Today I was on the internet looking to purchase some uh, a VST and I came across this VST called Riffer. I guess it's been out for a while because now they're on Riffer 2. So this is my first time seeing it. Um, I was looking at it, I was looking at um, you know some of the what it do and how it work and from what I'm understanding is it makes uh, like melodies and you don't really have to make melody for yourself it just automatically make it for you um, while I was watching the video I was thinking like the MPC do exactly what this VST is doing so today that's what I'm going to do I'm going to show you if you've never seen this VST before, it's called Riffer by, um, what's their name? Uh, man. By Audio Modern, I think. Audio Modern is their name. So go look at it and, um, you know, take a look. I was about to purchase it, but then I was like, let me, let me see something. Then I remembered that the MPC do similar stuff to not exactly everything, but it does half of everything that this do or even more half or by 75% of what this does alright so I'm gonna show you how to do that if it's your first time to the channel as always welcome don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat alright let's get it all right youtube so now we're inside the npc and to get your npc to behave or act like riffer what you need to do is go into your your track where your track is at and you hit the pencil on on the npc you hit the pencil and go to generate random events if you don't have an npc and you're just using the the software by itself without a without an npc you can go up here to the hamburger menu hit the hamburger menu go to tools and then go to generate random events and it'll pop right up all right so on the npc and it pops up you go to your your track hit the pencil and hit generate random events all right so when it first opened up this is what it looked like so in the event type you can use either uh, melody events or drum events for today we're using melody so we're going to do melodies and then um, right here if you already had like say you had a progression and you just need some notes to go with your progression you can use add existing event to your progression right or you can replace events in note range which is down here from here to here right so we're going to use replace all event because we don't have nothing right now so right here we'll start on c2 which is this right here start on c2 and end at c4 right so it's going to everything is going to be in between here all right now what we need to do the polyphony we can bring it down to one let's start the polyphony on one what the polyphony is it can play two notes at a t one note and then if you put it to two it play two notes at a time if you put it to three it play three notes so the more you go it play notes on top of each other all right so we're going to go into the key of let's do g key of g and let's do a minor natural minor right the note length is too short right now that's just going to give us a melody we want like a let's say like a chord we want to do a chord so we go to bar and we go to polyphony as let's do two or let's do three all right bar three the um density let's bring it all the way up that's how much um how much notes you want to be inside the eight bars that you have but since we're doing bar a hundred would be fine all right if you was doing like say one eighth you all want you want to turn that down low to a lower number so let's start at the bar and 
let's do bass notes. We want to do start with our bass notes. So let's say C to the uh, uh that's a negative C two. Let's see um octave two C. Alright, to C four. So let's just add some random notes now. All right, so since it's one, is no notes on top of each other. They all play separately. So let's hear what that sound like. All right. So since we have that, since we have those bass notes, let's move this up now to start at octave three. Right? And this one ends at five all right so now we want what we already have so now we're gonna add to existing and change the bar to let's say one eighth and let's see what that's let's, let's turn this down to 50 you could tell if it gives you too much it looks like too much, but let's just hear what it sound like. See that? I didn't do nothing. I didn't play nothing. It's in, it's in key. Everything is in key because we set it right here at the root G and the G natural. Everything's in key, right? So we could take it off and replace, um, replace. No, let's let's leave it. Let's leave that and just hit undo and hit apply again. Once you hit undo, hit reply, um, hit apply again. It gives you a whole totally different melody. Listen. Let's hit undo and hit apply again. All right, undo. Let's move this up to about 75 and then hit apply. Hit apply again. Every time you hit apply, it gives you something new. Alright, so basically this is doing the same thing that Riffer is doing. Everything that Riffer is doing, this is what the, the MPC is doing. Is This comes with the MPC. Alright, so let's change, let's say we um, change this 1 8th to 1 16th. And just add to existing. Let's just, oh, same thing that we already have, just add something else to it. But turn the polyphony up to 2 and then hit apply now that that this is going to sound too much too crazy it looked too crazy already so let's hear what it sound like all right but say say you want to keep that right just hit close because if you hit apply or do it is going to change the what you already have so just hit close and it keep what you have 
So what you could do, what you could try, if you like that, just lower the, the tempo. Let's lower the tempo to, let's say, 80. Let's lower the tempo to 80 and listen. See, that's more pleasing to the ears. Let's see if we go down to 70, what happened? Then another tip, what you could do is, if you don't want this, if this is too much for you too, let's let's bring it back to 80. Let's bring it back to 80. And listen what 80 sound like again. All right. So what you can do now, you can go to your your tool, wherever your your track tool, the pencil. Hit the pencil and then go to um, half speed the event. So you can half speed the event. Now listen to this now. Now let's turn it back up to our, let's turn it to a hundred. Turn the tempo up to a hundred. All that need now is some, some effects on it some reverb some chorus and there's a seller that's it so the riffer i was going to purchase it but i don't need it mpc already have it for me all right if this your first time to the channel as always welcome please don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that notification button to get notified whenever you drop some heat more tutorial like this is going to be on the way so let's get it all right talk to you later